Hey everyone, mango 7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7, and today we're actually going to take a look at Veronica. This is a week late, I think. This video was posted on the 30th, and by a week I mean about three days, uh, which is a long time. Uh, but I wanted to make a video for this. I didn't want to get spoiled on the character. The only thing I know is I love her design a lot, uh, a, a real lot, and I've seen her in the story a little bit. Uh, haven't seen her abilities or know her class or anything. Do know that one thing I saw mentioned was she may be used by Pirate Flan. That's the literal only thing I know about this. So let's get into this. I'm excited to see what she does. And I'm here Veronica, we go. Captain of the Slayers. Do whatever I have to do for a better tomorrow. What kind of sound effect is that? Do whatever I have to do. Jesus. For a better tomorrow. Also, it's on 4080p. Let's watch that again. And typical mango faction. Captain Maybe that's why the sound was all muffled. Do whatever I have to. Jeez. Nope. For a better tomorrow. Okay, looks interesting. Doesn't sound very good though. I don't like the sound. Um, it is voiced by Ashley Blanchett, who also voices. Ooh. The theater actress. That's kind of cool. Um, Ashley Blanchett is known for The Equalizer. It has a 5.5 star rating on IMDb. Um, the Good Fight, Better Late Than Ever. She hasn't voiced like anybody. She's got five things on IMDb. That's kind of interesting. Um, okay, so let's nice see. Nice work, everyone. Veronica was born as the eldest daughter of a powerful noble in Central Eurasia. Following her family's long-held tradition of supporting... I don't know, I think her outfit is awesome, guys! Do you like the outfit? Okay, let's see what she does here. This is super cool, too. I love these characters. We need more, like, gen not generic, I mean, I guess that's generic, but, like, uniquely generic, if that makes sense, characters. Okay, wow, 121 speed. Was not expecting that. I figured she would be either a ranger or a thief because of, obviously, the gun. And I think she had a sword of something, or maybe she doesn't. I thought she had, like, a cutlass, but maybe that's just the outfit speaking. So, 1200 attack, very low HP. Extremely low defense, right? That's pretty, pretty low. Um, Really high speed. Imprint is crit chance, so she's got whale print, but I believe it's a free... Max, which is awesome. I'm so glad they did this. Uh, it is... Ooh! Imprint release 10 speed. I didn't even see that. That's awesome. I'm so used to just skipping imprint releases. So this is awesome. I think her stat line is amazing. Um, getting 15% crit chances on free unit is amazing, amazing, amazing for new players. I just want to see what she does. I just want to see. 121 speed is pretty nuts though, right? The Vampire Hunter at the start of the turn dispels Immortality. No, Melissa. From all enemies. Ignores ER. Sheesh. At the end of someone's turn, when the enemy is granted Immortality, increases CR of the caster by 15%. Okay, so we found a way to counter Melissa. It's been five years. We finally found a way to counter Melissa so that... um, Obviously, there's others. I'm just naming, but... At the start of the turn, dispels immortality from all enemies. I want to see who they range. use it again, because whoever they use it again is how they plan this character to go, right? Like they, whenever they do showcases, they show exactly what they wanted the unit to, turn, to, to do. When the enemy is granted immortality, increases combat readiness of the castle. So we've got immortality oh, over in the top right for the BBK, um, and it ignores ER. So even ER BBKs. That's pretty rough. Can't 15% it either. Chain explosion. Attacks the enemy, dispels two buffs. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. I was a little bit sad here because this is another debuff on a unit that has a skill one that ignores E or skill three that ignores ER, but the soul burn is ignores ER. I do think 20 souls is too large. Then again, I see a critical hit will grant an extra turn, so that seems pretty big. Maybe 20 souls is enough on an extra turn ability. Um, it's always 20 souls for this anyway, but 
Still, attacks the enemy, dispels two buffs before inflicting defense down and bomb for two turns. And a critical hit grants an extra turn. That's super cool. That's kind of what I was wondering when people said, well, when one person, Daphne, spoiled me, said you could use her kind of like a pirate flan, I wasn't sure if it would be like the speedy style CR boosting, which she does do, or the bombs, and it turns out it's kind of both. Chain explosion. So this is kind of cool. Attacks so that's uh, does not need bucks. effectiveness Before whatsoever so far. And, and definitely won't ever, because the a skill one is going to be like detonate or something. When 20 soul is consumed, There's no way that's not a detonate resistance. on a skill one or something, right? Skill one. Uh, attacks the enemy by shooting and increases CR of the ally with the highest CR except for the caster by 10%. That is sick. 15% CR to that ally and detonates the bomb. And detonates bomb obviously cannot be resisted. So this is a sick skill set. I, I really, really, really like what they're doing lately. I've said that a lot, but I am very, very happy with this character's skill set. I don't know how she's going to turn out, but that doesn't matter as much to me as unique and fun skill sets, if that makes sense. Because whether or not she turns out to be good uh, can be changed with a few things, right? Um, but just the general idea of the character is great. It's not busted. It's really good. It's situational. And um, I really, really, really like this. This is awesome. So let's see what she does here in their showcase. Combat readiness, except for the caster, by up to 15%. Uh, where's the, the showcase the here? Oh, I want to see her sit down. So this is her sitting. Very important. Which is unlocked after clearing episode five. Chapter oh, she's tired. Five. Girl, you're summoning vampires. You're up all night. Okay, so let's see this. So we've got Ran first. This is the same team they fought against. So they're obviously going to show the intro here. How should we do this? And do note, got pushed up here because the immortality, which pushed her ahead of the Sid. Whether you win or lose. Oh, and because the two turns, she's going to get this twice, right? Because, okay, I see what they're showing here. So she triple resisted the BBK here, which means she's a ER based BBK, which does give her an There's extra no CR around. boost you can see here. So if she was back here uh, by Briarwitch, she still would be going first, I think. We're fighting. And now we've got oh, the immortality removed just by being there, right? Wait, how was the immortality moved? I'll check again in a second. You'd better stand down. And my opponent. Okay, so now this one has immortality now. So now she's gonna get another boost here, and because Sid takes an extra turn when he kills somebody with that, she gets another CR boost, and then. Another CR boost. That kills. Now we've got this still, and now she's going to go ahead. Okay. They could not have rigged this battle anymore. You know those, those boss battles you fight where there's one solution to get things done, and it's ridiculous, and it's never a thing that's ever going to happen, but they make you solve the problem? This is kind of that. I've never seen a battle so specifically set up for her to just absolutely destroy them like super omega destroy I, I want to see this. where that immortality goes because I thought she had to target it to immortality and I don't think she targeted but maybe I'm wrong here at the start of the turn Jesus Christ that's why that's insane okay Veronica I I am in love with your kit this is amazing this is a four star which is amazing as well. I'm so happy. I'm so glad. I thought she was going to get shafted and just do nothing, right? Like, the thing is, she has a skill set that you can use with lower stat points, like a three star, um, and still do stuff, right? Which is really, really, really cool. So uh, we're going to stop here. I am in love with Veronica. I, I'm going to go get her right now and make a video on her on Monday's Guild War. And I'm hoping somebody, some somebody will put in um, Melissa so I can kill Melissa with her. So thank you so much for watching. Oh, and she's a vampire hunter that just decimates Melissa. I love it. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.